gives me great pleasure on behalf of IDI and on behalf of Makere University to welcome you. IDI is privileged to be part of this international network that brings together more than five countries to address the looming threat of antimicrobial resistance. Also, with all hands on deck, the future is bright for antimicrobial resistance. And I'll tell you this, it's not well understood, especially where I come from. Like I said, I'm a champion of antimicrobial resistance. And I was telling Professor Damali about a month ago when I met her that uh, we're trying to come up with a forum on antimicrobial resistance in Parliament. We have to empower the communities through sensitization. Do they even know what antimicrobial resistance is all about? Involving and engaging community cannot be of emphasized their critical role in bringing insights, perspectives of the lived experiences at that level, interfacing with the practical realities on a day-to-day -day basis, brings a lot of value to, to the work that we do. And for me, being an advocate for patient and family engagement and community engagement for over 18 years, it really makes my day to see that increasingly it's being recognized, and I must applaud uh, IDI for all its efforts and seeing the common um, initiative. In the vibrant corridors of the Infectious Diseases Institute, also known as IDI, a unique form of resilience was born, one that resonated through music, dance and drama. The IDI that realized that while scientific facts were crucial, community members engaged more effectively with primary and secondary healthcare information through stories and relatable characters. <coughs> Nakato! Yes, mommy! Bring me my medicine. But, mommy, you told me to bring you Cipro, Amoxil, plus the other medicine I used to take when I had cough. Remember you're suffering from fever, and the other medicine was specifically for cough. Don't you see you're misusing antibiotics? In May 2008, a group of patient volunteers, originally called the Kalibobo Music Dance and Drama Group, Kalibobo to mean strength, started using arts to educate and raise awareness about HIV prevention, treatment, care and support. A full-time trainer was brought on board, transforming these volunteers into skilled performers. Over time, the group's focus expanded to address other critical health challenges, including the rising global threat of antimicrobial resistance, also known as the AMR. They partnered with clinicians, researchers, and public health organizations to ensure their message on AMR was both accurate and impactful. Incorporating music, dance, and interactive elements like skits, poems, songs in multiple languages. They have reached diverse audiences in schools, clinics, and have performed on national stages. As a leader, stock trainer, I've really witnessed that our performances have really changed people's lives. 
most especially when we are outside the communities there. Uh, I remember one day when we were we are acting a poem about the antimicrobial resistance. One of the ladies started to cry while we were performing the poem. The reason was uh, she had a mother deep there in the village. She had developed her habit of self-medicating. When time passed on, she developed a very heavy sickness. She was taken to big hospitals. By the time she was taken there, she lost her life. The doctor told, told them that the reason why their mom died, she had developed a habit of self-medicating. To date, these ambassadors have reached over 30,000 patients at the IDI clinic in Mulago National Regional Referral Hospital and with over 50% coverage of communities within Kampala, Wakiso region. Through their performances, they bridge the complex concepts of MR into compelling and memorable narratives, bridging the gap between health professionals and the general public. But their work has not been without challenges. The group has been limited in resources to facilitate them to reach more communities, purchase of instruments and costumes, and recording of their content for a wider social network. The IDI ambassadors remind us that in the face of global health challenges, every performance is a message, every song a call to action, and every dance a celebration of life, and therefore a need to scale out similar initiatives to be able to reach out to a wider, less literate population. As they continue their journey, they invite communities globally to join them in the fight against MR, proving that together we can create a healthier future for all.